Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of C++ Crash Course and today we're going to go over uh, a first look at classes in C++. Now classes is really one of the uh, major defining things that uh, uh, differentiate C and C++ and uh, they're really they're a really convenient abstraction in a lot of cases. So let's go ahead and jump right into our example. So let's look at what actually, how do we actually uh, implement a class? So we'll start off with just looking at the interface. So this will be the outline of everything related to the class that we're going to actually implement in the implementation. So we go to, uh, if we open up interface.h, uh, we see we implement a class kind of like a function. Um, so we'll call class vector one and then a curly bracket. And we have this public here. So we'll go into it another at another time what the difference between public and private is. But for now, all we really need to know is, um, let's say we want to represent a vector and say we want to have a pair of uh, starting coordinates and a pair of ending coordinates. Now, if we were to write that out inside of, uh, you know, just a regular main function, we would have to write, uh, you know, all four of these coordinates uh, out as individual variables. And then if we wanted to send that to a function or something, we would have to write four, uh, all four of those coordinates, the x and y for the start and the x and y for the end as uh, arguments to that function. Now imagine if we had, say, uh, multiple vectors that we needed to send to a function. Well, we might run into the issue that all of a sudden our parameter list for a function gets really, really long and messy. So instead, if we can just represent a vector as a single thing, so kind of defining our own data type, it's really nice if we can do that. So all we do is we have uh, this class vector. We say that within this class vector, we'll have four variables. So start x, start y, and end x and end y. And then we can also have these things called methods. Now methods are functions that um, relate to uh, the class that they're a part of. So in this case, we can have a function or a method called print and say print we can say automatically print out everything relating to this data type that we're defining so vector so we can define a print to be part of this data type that will dump out all of the uh, all of the coordinates but we don't just have to have a single class we can kind of nest classes together uh, depending on whether how we want to kind of segment what uh, data, da what data belongs to which classes and then also uh, who has access to what parts of which classes. So in here, we can actually separate a vector into a, a set of two points. So our, we'll have a class vector two, which will have a start point and an end point. And point itself is another class that has a pair of doubles. So uh, an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So we can kind of split this up even further. Okay. So let's go ahead and exit out of this and let's look at the actual implementation. So if we go to implementation.cpp, uh, this will be our implementation of the uh, print function that we talked about with vector one or this method. So in order to uh, have this method, we could either do it within the interface, but a lot of times we wanna separate the interface and the implementation. So the interface is what we're going to expose out for people to use the class and the implementation is where we actually, uh, as it, the name implies we implement it. So in this case, we use this uh, scope resolution operator. We say for the class vector one, this is the print function that uh, I mentioned for vector one. And here we'll just print out start X, start Y, end X and end Y. Now we don't have to pass anything into this print function because we have to remember this is part of that vector one class. And if we go back to the interface, we see that vector one class has uh, a start x, start y, index, and end y built into it. So it knows how to find its own variables. Okay, so let's go to uh, right here. So what are we going to actually do with these class objects? So we'll have another function. So this will just be a normal function that we can pass. a. Uh, so we can pass classes just like we passed uh, variables and other data types. And we just do it exactly the same way except this time the data type will be vector one, so it'll be the class, and then just just whatever identifier we wanna use, in this case, V. And in order to get uh, members or access uh, the methods of that class, we use this uh, dot operator. So we say from the class V, I want whatever the start X coordinate is. And then uh, if I want to print 
out of there. I can call this print method from this uh, from this instance of the vector object. So what will we do here? So pretty simple stuff. We'll just assign. Uh, we'll just assign the values at the start uh, and end points to our first vector. So this is the vector one class that's just uh, that doesn't have any kind of nested classes in it. And then we'll make another uh, vector using our vector two class. And this time we'll show that you know we can also uh, do assignment uh, of one class to each other, and this will actually copy that uh, that class. So just like if we had an int a is equal to 5 and integer b, we could say b is equal to a and then b would now be equal to 5 as well. So we can do that also with, uh, with, these, uh, with classes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to compiling. So in this case, we'll call g++ uh, dash c and we'll do this on implementation.cpp. We'll generate some object code here. All right, so there's that uh, implementation.o, and then we will compile our simple class.cpp, and we need to pass it both simple class.cpp and then where in, where all the uh, where the class is actually implemented in that object code. So we'll pass it implementation.o as well. There we go. Now let's see what happens when we run simple class. So we show that we have. Uh, so here we're just using a normal function where we pass the object as a uh, we pass the object to a function like we would for an integer or anything else, and then from here we're using that built-in method. So methods are really uh, a convenient thing if we have some kinds of functions that are really tied to that particular class. So printing is a good example of this. A lot of times we want to print uh, when we're printing something related to a class. Maybe we want to print all the coordinates, so we can just write a method that does that. So as always, I'm going to be Nick from uh, Coffee Before Arch. And if we go to the GitHub page for Coffee Before Arch, let's go to github.com. Might take a little bit of while. Internet's been a little slow. So if we go to the GitHub page, that's where all the source code for uh, the C++ uh, lectures, as well as uh, some on GPU programming with CUDA and Python 3. Those are all online under the GPL3 license. So completely available to use. So we'll go to C++ Crash Course. And if we look down here, so we have all of our previous videos. And if we go to Fundamental Concepts, Classes, Classes Intro, so we'll have all the files related to today's lecture. So like I said, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and I hope you have a nice day.